to my video review of the OMAS IPX7 floating waterproof wireless Bluetooth speaker. Comes in this nice sturdy box. It's a very heavy solid unit. I can tell by the uh, weight of the uh, box. That's what the unit is. Here's the unit itself. Here's included uh, mini audio line in cable and I see a charging USB cable and an instruction pamphlet which I'm going to read. First thing I'm going to do is open this up and look at where you could charge the device. It has a note on there to make sure you seal up the flap for the USB and auxiliary ports when you're putting it in water or using it in water. Um, interesting, it has a quarter 20 tripod bolt on the bottom. Um, that's very nice. Very solid feel to it. Here's the power and the track changes and volume changes and play and pause. And I see, I think, a uh, phone symbol for answering a phone call. Let's find this port. So it says USB and auxiliary. Very nice the way they did that. I really like that. A lot of times these ports are hard to open up. They put a little catch on there, so it's very easy to catch, to open up. So I can clearly see we have an auxiliary line in, and we have a charging port. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the included USB charging cable, and I'm going to plug one end into a 1 amp typical USB charger, similar to what's on your PC or your Mac. And let's place this in the right direction to charge it, which is that way, like that. You can hear a little clicking sound, it went in. And on the top of the unit, I see a red LED that's glowing, and it's glowing solid. I'm going to read the manual to see uh, what that means. So according to the manual, this will turn off and go to green when it's fully charged. So we're going to let this charge and we'll come back and do some tests. So it finished charging and the green light came on. Now we can test the unit. So let's give this thing a test. That's, uh, I've got my Nexus 6 here. Let's uh, power this thing on. Powering on. Ready to pair. So I see it's uh, got a uh, blinking blue LED and a dimmer green LED. Let's look at my device right here. Go to the uh, Bluetooth, and I see it's turned on. Let's see if this device comes up. I see something here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can't pronounce it. Emma Sport. Let's click on that. Paired. That was really quick. Now let's see if we can find some music. It's got really good sound. Um, if you look, you've got your stereo speakers in front, and then there's a, uh, a tuned bass port right here, which is probably not active, but it's, uh, it's uh, designed to vibrate at the low end based on the volume of this cavity, and uh, sounds really good. It's got a lot of punch to it. Incoming call. So you hit that button right there. Hello? Hello? Testing one, two, three. And it looks like it worked. I can hear myself. The next thing I want to test is uh, the line in capability. If you don't want to use Bluetooth, I'm going to remove this sealed cover right here. 
Now I'm going to use the included mini cable and you can hear it uh, turn the Bluetooth off and I'm going to plug this into my uh, headphone output. Now the next thing I want to try is I'm going to immerse this in some water since a lot of people have tried that I'm just curious how it does I'm going to have music streaming when I do it now they do mention that this port has to be fully closed so I'm going to fully close this USB and auxiliary line input pressing really hard making sure that is totally sealed before I do this experiment I'm going to go get some water Okay, so you saw it passed its water test. I uh, opened this up, the port, which is the most vulnerable part for water, and I carefully looked at it, and I don't see any water that infiltrated there, which is great. Just always make sure that this is very closed against its uh, seals. And the speaker still got to dry out, but it started sounding pretty normal after about five minutes. I wiped it down a little bit too. So my overall impressions of this speaker, uh, this Bluetooth speaker, I really like it. I think it's very cool looking with the black and the red. It's got really good sound. It's the most waterproof speaker, Bluetooth speaker that I own. I own about seven Bluetooth speakers. So it's nice not to have to worry about water hitting it. And of course, you can even submerge, submerge this and it floats. And this is a heavy speaker, so the fact that they got it to float in design is very impressive. So I'm going to give this a five-star rating. Oh, I also tested the range of this, and it was about 30 feet, which is fine. I'm going to give this a five-star rating, and I think you'll enjoy this speaker. I hope this video review helped you make a wise buying decision. Thanks for watching.